Yeah, I was using the hatchet here and went through and was chopping out the bad pieces of the rafter. I've got to scab on some new pieces on this roof. And the hatchet here dropped down in that hole. Couldn't see it with the flashlight, but I had a hook to rare earth magnet on there and got a rope, dropped it down in the gap. And the outside wall was able to fish it out on about the third try. These are real strong magnets, but yeah, this is kind of a, we had a bunch of magnets here, so it was pretty neat to go through and just to be able to pull that the hatchet out. Thought I was going to have to run off and get another one. These magnets I used to fish out the hatchet are so strong, they're actually in a, stored in a plastic container, so they've got some distance between them because of the problem of getting your finger pinched. See, there's the warning, very strong magnets. Keep a half a meter away from credit cards and cell phones. And the danger of getting your finger pinned. So I got the hatchet out, and the flashlight rolled down in there, so it's a total screw up. So I put the magnet down in there. Look, I fished out a flywheel. Look at this sucker. You pick up the whole flywheel. Gosh. Pretty strong magnets. And there I got the flashlight. Even though it's an aluminum flashlight, there's enough steel on there. Got to buy the button. I lucked out. This is one of my favorite flashlights. It uses four double A's. Had them at Home Depot and they discontinued them. And Uses a lot either with regular double A's or rechargeables, but that's amazing. Picked up that whole flywheel for a foreign car, but it's a pretty darn, it's a decent sized flywheel. And that's all down here in the gap between the wall. What a screw up. <laughs> One. These are the rafters that are all kind of rotten because the roof is shot. So I've been demoing the roof. This part I just kind of took it off by hand because it's used the saw once they get up farther on the roof. But I'm going to scab on some treated pieces here, 2x4 or something, just for a few feet so there's some stability on there. And the reason they're rotten is because the roof is so far shot that it just... Uh, got into the beam so what I do is just tend to notch out the rotten areas scab on either with nail or some screws piece a couple feet long if it's bad all the way I go through and hook go farther up the roof this particular roof sometimes I've got to actually go through and uh, put one on every uh, on because of the roof is racked and it won't even line up with the board